Works of art aren't always what they seem. And who's to say that traditional materials can't be used in brand new ways? Serena Alchu weaves us a tale. Take a close look at this origami bird, or at this feather, or this bowl. It's art that's meant to be touched, because that's when you realize it's all made of glass. People really can't believe that it's glass until they touch it, because they just visually can't, it doesn't make sense that that's actually mm -hmm. woven glass. So how do Tom Norris and Eric Marco make these seemingly impossible woven textures? We just um, love keeping the mystery in it. We love people wondering how it's done. Glass artists have jealously guarded their techniques since at least medieval times. In Venice, revealing glassmaking secrets meant death. Norris and Marco also believe in keeping their exact methods a secret, but they did agree to let us into their Virginia studio. Nobody's ever filmed us doing this before. Go. Trained scientists, Norris in biology and Marco in chemical engineering, the duo create their own brilliant colors. They first have to break glass down by placing very hot glass into cold water. It's fracturing into a million little pieces. Then they grind the colors into a powder. And then they sprinkle the powdered glass onto other glass surfaces. So that'll give me a nice purple base. And then can add a little bit of vanilla cream bits. It's a nice. little bit like cooking. Yes. I feel like we're <laughs> in the kitchen. They also cut thin strips of glass to melt down and create their own custom color blends. And how many times have you cut yourself on glass here? Oh, regularly. And then they put the mixtures into the oven to bake for a while. While the glass was heating up, they showed me one of their very first works, a stained glass window. This is the actual inspiration to everything because the stained glass is what taught us about glass, different colors. Their love of color led them to years of experiments, some of them ending in failure. And it actually um, broke apart into it three was, different pieces. It was three, it was one piece. It was one piece. piece. They solved that problem by weaving over a clear glass base. And how are you able to weave the glass in and over each other? <laughs> <laughs> Still trying. <laughs> Just won't we, tell me, will you? <laughs> we, we, we use a little bit of magic and mystery. Ready. Are you ready, Eric? Uh-huh. It often takes hundreds of hours and in a kiln and six there. weeks to complete a single design. And that's good. That just gives it a good mix up. There's the raking of molten glass panels okay. at 1,700 degrees. It will look uh, really unusual. And then there's uh, the pulling of the taffy-like okay. glass strands. Okay. Oh, you can okay. feel the go. heat. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Marco and Norris Stretching. work in a well-practiced and careful choreography. And go. It does feel like you guys are like kids in your own candy shop <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. This batch of molten glass comes out red hot, but as it cools, it changes to red, white, and blue. The tweezers a little bit closer. Yeah. They even let me try. Yeah, it's much more malleable than, than you think. And it's unlike anything you've ever done before. I think when we look at our process, we always want to push it, and we always want to go a little bit further and take it beyond the actual fabric into the sculptural. Starting as self-taught artists, Marco and Norris are now getting serious recognition. At a recent Manhattan gallery opening, they showed off their complex and pricey innovations. Well, this one goes for over 4000 so it won't be going into my home anytime soon. So will they ever reveal their secret? One last chance to tell me how the weave is done. <laughs> Very um, slow. Like <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the secret of their success is how their individual efforts are interwoven into one artistic vision.